Well, it's a cold, well, not necessarily cold, but it's cooler than normal. November 12th, 2024. Just got done unloading the last straw wagon. I was gonna take this fork here and just scoop it off the bed, carry it in the barn, use it for bedding, but I figured by the time I got down off the gate, I would have lost lost it all, so I will just uh, sweep it off in a pile and fork it in the barn that way. So I'm just gonna pull the wagon through all that loose straw, but I was like, nope, we're gonna do it right. Let the wagon there, and we're gonna start throwing it in the pen. By the time the, the front end, front axle would have drugged through the loose straw, it would have been all strung all over the driveway and down the road and all the way to the restaurant. Moved the wagon around the corner with the gator, put my hitch on the front, got my hitch extender on because I never really cared for why they put why they brought the muffler out so far and they put the receiver right underneath of it that's why i bought the hitch extender was to kind of get that out away from it because more times than i care to admit i've burnt my hand trying to get the hitch pin out from the wagon the hitch extender fits really nice in the toolbox well let's um get this all raked inside and then we'll uh fork it into pen we got more to actually rake out in this hallway anywho so i figured we might as well just we'll rake all this up shove it down the hallway and then we got to uh rake this area in here rake all the loose stuff up and then we're gonna rake it all up pull a flat wagon out move the straw we need to move just the bales that you guys see so it'd be what those two three four five six eight or so just so we can get a wag that easy trail backed in here when this wagon is full of straw later we'll just back it right in here after this floor is all cleaned up but i want to i theoretically should have come in here with my buggy latched onto this and pulled it up to the up top barn that way we can put it away right quick bring the loader down move what needs moved and then we'll i guess clean the mess up to be honest with you, I'd rather load a flat wagon all day long. You can stack a flat wagon. They're so much easier to unload with hay or straw rather than a kicker wagon. I think if you stack these not flat, but on their sides, I think you can get like 200 or so on one of them. Well, I forgot to do something very, very important that everybody does on a farm when they get new subscribers or people that watch their YouTube channel. You never know who's going to stumble upon your channel. My name is Travis. I am a farm employee. It's just my dad and I on the farm, 900 acres. Corn, oats, wheat, hay, and soybeans are what we 
grow on the farm somewhere is in the vicinity of 70 cows on the farm I'm gonna guess probably 60 or so pigs give or take various sizes what we are into today is we're just doing a bunch of bunch of dumb stuff um, like I said earlier we need to move that wagon up to the top barn get them bales that I showed earlier put them all along the side so we got room to back another e easy trail wagon alongside then we can just back this one right on here after we get this floor raked up I just got done are you guys have seen already taking that straw from outside and raking it in here because I'm just going to shove it down here and then when I get this all raked around raked up thrown in here I can just do it all at one time and throw it right in the pen make more sense doing it that way rather than screwing around just it would make more sense doing it my way Whoever said a gator can't do what a tractor can, less the PTO or three point, has never farmed before or been around farm equipment. I never even thought that I would use that thing just like a tractor. Well, you get the point. It moves wagons around. Sure beats a tractor any day of the week. Although I will need a tractor to take the thing down there. So I just used the 4020 to do that job. You need to open the door first. That might help. Now, when doing this job, you don't need to get in a big rush. You take your time. Oh, would you shut up?
This way, I can see just what I'm doing. there that's good now I could come back a little bit more but I'm happy with it where it is Dustle can still get his hay we can back him up all the way to the wagon if need be to get to hay but we don't need to would sure be nice if I could find some way to weld me a, a hitch pin on this wagon tongue be about time too to put the plexiglass windows back in this thing that uh, we took out when we had the machine painted this past winter but we're making do we'll definitely have to put them in by December the latest to keep the wind off you
Um, I didn't intend on them bales falling back on me, but it happens. At least now I can concentrate on getting this area all raked up and we'll move on with our morning. You guys get the gist of how it's going. Take a leaf rake and or pitchfork and just rake it all up in a pile. Now granted, I could go up and get the bucket for the skid loader, but I am... Uh, with this being a dirt floor, you, get, you can really easy get too much dirt picked up with your straw, and that is what I want to try and avoid. So, it's just... I know it's a little more time consuming with a leaf rake, but you um don't get as much dirt, or if any. Got the mess all cleaned up. I'm feeling pretty good. Didn't make too much of a mess in here. I thought I would. Scatter it all out. Actually, we'll sweep it, bring that down here. We'll just throw it all in all at one time. Then we'll scatter it. Well, that worked out better than I expected. Got a barn all better with all the loose stuff and we'll move on to loading the flat wagon. Actually, I almost forgot we need to put the wagon away. Good grief. Pain in the butt. Tore the ever-loving crap out of the grass, but the wagon's in here. So, I just got done with lunch, not too long ago, it's a skosh after 12.15 I believe. The wood stove just kicked off outside. That is still broken. It's a pain in the butt that Agrifab can't make a replacement engine for this thing. Um, because here is what the crankshaft is. It's a it's a weird size. It's a tapered, it's a tapered crankshaft. And it has this slot in here where the impeller or whatever you are putting on this engine slides into. And then it's got this little tiny indent here. I don't know how you guys can see that. And there's a keeper that sits in that so that it, whatever your attachment is, whether it be a PT or a whether it be a hydraulic pump or something, does not slide its way off of here. Well, uh, you cannot buy a replacement Briggs & Stratton 9 horsepower, 250cc, or uh, 6.5 horsepower, I'd rather say. So that is where we set with this. Um, I doubt I'll even have one before Thanksgiving, being today is the 12th of November, 2024. Just have to wait and see. So how many of you guys want to watch me scurry my way up there, fall off the rafters, fall out of the straw mow, smack my head against the corner of the wagon, knock myself unconscious, and have to be admitted to the hospital, never seeing another video from Northeast Ohio Farmer ever again because he did something dumb and stupid. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Or there's a safer way we can go about this and that is called um, getting a ladder, positioning it somewheres better to get up on or we can just you know do it like a such we'll just um we'll just leave that bale there for a foothold just climb up here actually i'll just bring you guys along with me because i can okay we'll just throw that bale there climb myself up here this feels oh yeah that one down there don't feel nice and steady. 
But hey, it is what it is, okay? So what my goal is, is to just work my way. Well, it was. I don't know what kind of a mess we got going. Oh, I know what we're doing. We had to load, we had to t <clears throat> top off of a truck earlier. And that's why this is like it is up here. But my goal is to get myself all the way up here. I actually should have put you guys up. Ouch. Mm, smack my head on these darn rafters. Okay, so I think once I get myself planted up here, yes, planted, I can use, well, it's too bad these rafters aren't, there's no metal, because I could set you up somewhere and you could watch me make a mess out of this. Hey, at least if something does go wrong, I can grab a hold of a rafter, swing myself up and over it, just like a uh, one of those uh, circus uh, people. Oh, for the life of me, I'll never be able to remember what the heck them kind of people are that bounce their way up over rafters and do different kind of stuff. And what are they, acrobats or something like that, I think. this isn't what I wanted to have happen but it's what happened okay I'm getting somewhere. You guys get the idea. Change of plans. I need to work me a hole here so that way we can get to the cat food to feed the four legged varmints in there from this side of the barn. Oh, this film broke my leg. Did you see that? So I'm sure you guys are curious. Well, you load a flat wagon and you put them all the same way. Eh, wrong answer. No, you don't. You put a bale going this way. You start your tear, as I would call it. Or a pile, whatever. You put a bale going lengthways. And then you put the rest going that way. Just like that. Then you take, when you do your next layer, you take that bale and you put it over there. Basically, you're doing the same thing you did on the bottom, but all you're changing is the position of the bale going lengthways. Then the process continues. Put th th three up top, then you just repeat the process out until you get to the end of the bed and as high as what your last bale is up top actually i take that back that is only five high and we need to go a six high okay take that spin this around this away here without trying to shove the last bale off the back. 
and you take this one here and scooch him over here then you can put two more over there on the side then you take the last bale that you did and you crisscross them the bale that goes lengthways is the bale that gets turned sideways so on so forth what you don't want to do is you don't want to have this bale here see it's going long ways you don't want to have it going long ways all the way down and then this going you know all the way that way you want to you want to alternate them kitty ah huh. Hi, kitty. Aww. Yeah, buddy. Ah. What you matter? Huh? What you matter? Holly? You got a real distinct meow don't, about you, don't you? Yeah, you do. Oh, buddy. What? Huh? What? Oh. Big kitty, you. <laughs> You're a people cat, aren't you? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you are. You're heavy. There you go. We can't afford to have an old cat like you get run out in the driveway. We gotta keep you in the barn. Yeah. Um, you're not in the barn. What the heck? Come on, go get in that barn where you belong. Okay, goodbye. So I've gotten down to the dirt floor and those bales there are too moldy to put on the wagon here, but when you come across bales like that you can kind of mix it in a load and uh landscapers will never know it so it's unfortunate there are five bales there that are mo that had that are moldy from the wet floor because when it rains all the water just runs right in the barn so let's do some math here five times eight is 40 and that's how much we're charging for bale straw is eight bucks because of inflation. So, there, yeah, we're out 40 bucks. So, got this opened up here. Walk right on through with the door shut. Um, we're a little short though on the wagon. Now, why did you go and stack them all the way up there? Oh boy. I didn't put him up that high. Oh boy. I'm not really fond of heights, but I'll do what needs done to get the job done. I don't know why we didn't keep it consistent all the way up through here, but I don't know. Is what it is. You guys can watch me. Hopefully. Not fall off this thing. Because that would be bad. Oh, let's see. Mm. 
Let's see what we got going here. Oh shoot. How am I gonna get you guys down? There. Easy as that. Well, how am I gonna get me down now? Uh -huh. Got the wagon all loaded. Dad helped stop to help me fill the front end. He's like, good grief, three hours later you're still loading that? I'm like, yep. He's like, you should have had that done. I'm like, well, what else did you have for me to do today? He's like, oh, I don't know. There is one last thing that Dad asked me to do today, and that was um, yeah, unhook this thing from the sprayer because, uh, well, so we can put the floor mats in it. So, yeah, he said he already unhooked all the electric and everything, so I just got to do the PTO, jack, drawbar, we never hooked the safety chain up, I see, from when we uh, got it ready for winter and unhooking hydraulic hoses. I don't know how Pete has that laying, so I just laid it down there on the floor for right now. So I know everybody says, well, you waste time checking the engine oil and filming it. Well, you know what? I don't care. I really don't. They used to go with me wrestling too, and they would watch me. I had to come out of the map. You know, see, this is what I don't. That I was really okay. Yeah. So I'm not allowed to touch the, the radio. So we got the good tractor in here. This is our Minear spreading tractor. It's kind of like a love-hate relationship kind of thing with this. I kind of don't like it right now with the tires pushed in because it is so dang top heavy. Being as narrow as it is set up for 30 inch rows for the corn or for the sprayer when we spray corn, that I, um, would rather pull the tires back out again, but then we'd have to remember to push them back in come springtime. I know nobody would want to do that, but you know what? I'm almost certain that it is one of these uh, bolts back here. I think it might be... These two? Three four possibly and then i don't know i thought you used a bolt that the, the axle slid on a bolt or something and it moved them in or out i don't know somehow it, yeah i don't remember what this thing was set up for when we before it became the sprayer tractor but it rode nice now that the things narrowed up it Gets a little, gets a little tippy. So, oh well, it is what it is. And there's nothing that we can do about it other than flip the tire, um, spread the tires out.
I think with these over here, you can put that tire on that side, bring that tire around over here, and it will widen the tractor out. And that's how you do the front. You put that tire over there, you bring that tire back over here. Easy peasy. Well, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, no matter what your time zone is or wherever you are in the world. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you next time.